I was recovering from a magnificent party uh, that was held by the uh, Arts and, uh, Academy of Recording Arts, Arts and Sciences, I believe it was right, because uh, we had given Julio Iglesias a Lifetime uh, Achievement Award, and I was, I was there, right there with Julio, and, and, uh, and his minions of, of uh, ladies that adore him, because uh, I'd opened for him a couple of times, and, and it's a good job because the, the money wasn't all that bad, but uh, the benefits were that some of the most attractive women just hover. And uh, it, so I'd celebrated night before because I was going to host the, uh, the first Latin uh, Grammys. It was uh, scheduled to, to come out. It was a Tuesday. It was scheduled to be on uh, a 9-11. And uh, so I was recovering when the phone rang, and... And my, my agent says, get up, watch television. Uh, I, I, don't think, uh, I don't think that show's going to go on. I said, what, what, what are they going to cancel? I turned the TV. I remember asking him, what channel? And he said, turn the TV on, any channel. I turned it on, and, and you saw the, the tower, one tower. And literally, uh, it must have been 30 seconds later, the other plane comes in, and we're still on the phone. And what's going on? Just because, you know, a plane crashed. I mean, there's a tragedy, but they're going to cancel he says, uh, everything's gonna change. And, and the first Latin Grammys that myself and a lot of other uh, Hispanics of, of some prominence have been lobbying the, uh, the Academy to have a, a, um, uh, a Latin Grammys because of the, just the, just the abundance of, of, of artists that would win. It was almost like, you know, there, there was the Grammys and then there was the Latin Grammys, you know. And, uh, and, and sure enough, they canceled it, so, so I, uh, I made a couple of phone calls. I got phone calls from, from different artists. And, and informally, uh, we held it at the Conga Room in Los Angeles at the time. It wasn't at Staples Center. It was on, on um, Wilshire Boulevard, the Miracle Mile. And, uh, and a lot of artists showed up. And I remember one of the most moving moments was uh, Jose Feliciano, a cappella, uh, sang uh, uh, America the Beautiful. It was a really touching moment, you know. And uh, in that little stage, a lot, a lot of big stars were there. and It was kind of sad, and so not to be a name dropper, but it really did happen. Sometimes I catch myself going, oh, man. But Antonio Banderas uh, and his wife Melanie invited whoever wanted to go over to his house. And I'm starstruck, and, and I want to be, I've never been in that neighborhood, so a lot of us went there, and and it was just a, a lot of big stars right there in his living room playing, singing, uh, and I stayed there until they threw me out. The Latin Grammys were right after that second plane. Everybody knew that uh, ev everything, the America was under different rules. You know, it, it was it was Pearl Harbor. It was it, one of these moments in history that just changes everything, and. and uh, they they had one next year. They had they, the year after that. They they had the first Latin Grammys, which are, it was the second real second Latin Grammys, and uh, it was uh, hosted by uh, by my friend uh, George Lopez. And by that time, uh, you know he was the the, the new hot uh, Latino, and and I was uh, not. So so you know there, there's no. There, I have a special hatred for uh, for Osama bin Laden. Uh, <laughs> You know, the towers were the only thing that went down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those, are the, those are the moments in life. I, I've ne I always wanted to host it because I had worked so hard to, uh, to be there. You know, it's a national show, and it was really a show that you'd shine, stand out. And, but, you know, it, it wasn't to be. Now I, I, uh, I sell Amway products and, uh, and, and oranges off the freeway, but you, you don't have to have no, no, no pity for me unless you want to. And if you do, yeah, I'll tell you where to send money. I'll buy some oranges from you. <laughs> the orange business is good, but uh, it 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 was uh, it was something that it was surreal. It's hard to believe how not not only myself how that affected not only in show business, but it affected people in, in many many ways. You know, uh, uh, soon after that, I I along with many other Robin Williams and several other stars went to the Middle East. Uh, we were the first ones to go into Baghdad, and. Uh, and it was really weird because I never really knew. I think Williams had a, had a real funny line about that. Uh, we're on our way to to get the people who really did it, you know. 
but you got to go through Baghdad, you know, because there was a, uh, I think he also said something about, uh, we're not here for the oil and, and, and these giant gushes that lit up the whole night, you know, we're not here for that. And you could see the burning, you know, no, no, we're not here for oil. We're here because we don't know why we're here. Every, just everything changed. And comedy, the comedy business uh, was ironically better for, for, for comics who, who, who did the sarcastic, who did the ironic stuff, you know. Yes, well, uh, there was just so much to work with, you know. Uh, uh, when I landed there in Baghdad, they, at the time they were looking for Saddam, you know. And, uh, and Saddam looked, looked, uh, looked and looks a lot like one of the most famous uh, Hispanic singers ever that you probably never heard, but every Hispanic knows his name, Vicente Fernandez. You know, he, he has a mustache. If you get a picture of Vicente Fernandez and you get a picture of, uh, uh, of uh, Saddam Hussein, you think these people are the same one. I did, you know, so... So they, they gave you these playing cards of all the people they were looking for, and, and they looked a lot like Mexicans. It was like a family album for me. I was like, oh, man, look at this. And it was, it was really hard. So I, I had plenty to work with, you know. I mean, I was turning everybody I was related to in, you know. The, the amounts of money were unreal, you know. And, and I, I started making comparisons. I said, I, everybody ever noticed that Santana looks like Osama? Look, and you they, they take the hat off of Santana and Osama bin Laden? Come on, am I just making this up? There's, why do we look like these people? Do we have enough problems? You know, uh, so there was just a lot a lot to work with about about that. But, you know, I, I would have rather not have to do these kinds, these kinds of jokes. Uh, I'd rather been hosted the Latin Grammys, yeah. yeah. It was solemn, and I, I, it's far too many names to remember, but whoever was on the schedule to be there that night was on there. We're talking Santana, we're talking Tito Puente, Celia Cruz, some of the best ensemble. They all went up there with their, with their, with their, uh, with their gift, and they sang. When, when, uh, when Jose Feliciano sang uh, America the Beautiful, uh, and some people would say he mangled it, he Latinoized it, he timbaled it, whatever it is. To me, it was just another part of America, you know? And, and Santana, they, I, I don't think there will ever be an opportunity to see and an, 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 uh, get together that band there that night. You had, you had Hilton Ruiz, one of the greatest uh, players. If there's ever been a better timbale than, than Tito Puente, I don't know who that is. You had India, uh, who has uh, just a booming voice that takes second to no one and and all the richness of all the flavors you know uh, it, it was just a, like, far too many but whoever was supposed to be on that show was there that night and and it was it was a show that musicians did for for themselves I'm the, me being the MC I feel like a spectator to to to, to the kind of band God must have you know I mean it was that that night it was the it was, it was on 9-11, it was that night. Uh, people started calling each other, Edward Olmos, people started calling, hey, what, do you know so-and-so is having this, so-and-so is having that? We went there and after the show, uh, I don't know, how, how, does, how does the rumor spread, you know? I mean, before you know it, her house had hanged, I won't say where it is, but uh, was packed and there were people there and, and, they, and people brought food and tears and hugs and, and you saw Shakitas and you saw, uh, you know, you can't miss Selma and and Daisy and all the other... Almost like a, almost like a, like, you know, like after a funeral, like a kind of... It was a funeral. It was a funeral for ourselves. It was a funeral for, it was a, it was a wake. It was, you know, and if you were a lecherous kind of person, it was a wonderful opportunity to, to press flesh against, you know, people you don't, wouldn't, you just can't walk up to Jennifer Lopez and go, come here, you, oh, God, isn't it terrible? Bring your Twin Towers here. It's a uh, sans... Carlos Fernando Sanz, uh, just, the, just the who's who of Hispanic music was there. And that's what I regret the most because I, uh, I had an opportunity. But that, it wasn't recorded. I know it happened, and I, obviously I'm not going to say it on the air. And, and, and you call these people and go, what's he talking about? He's on drugs. You just made the whole thing Cause up. I, pro I, pro I, just made, I made the whole thing up just to be on television. That's how desperate my situation is. Wow, no. you're on every day on TBS. Right? <laughs> I'm on, I'm on. It's just a, I'm on. A, 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 in my mom's house, I'm still on because we just play that tape over and over again <laughs> at, at 9 o'clock. It gives us a sense that I'm on the air. But there's no regrets. I, I'm, I'm still at I'm still punching. And, and what, what I'm telling you is God's truth. And uh, if it weren't for such a tragedy, I wish it would happen again. 
Yeah. Not the towers and no, like that. After, afterwards, the way people were in those days after 9-11. I, I, I'm a, a, a party crash, a party goer, or if I was, that I don't think I'll ever be at a party like that before. Because all the people that you, imagine you going to a place where every one of those people are people you admire, you love, you would do anything to, 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 to pay to go to a concert. And not only is there no ticket, and very few people get there, but you're there and you've got a front row and they're, and they're looking at you and they know you. I, I never got over that and I hope I never do. Uh, to get a call when I, before Tito died, uh, Puente, who, uh, he was a guy to me, who would call you go, Oye, papi, no tiene algo acá, gay? Or in Spanish that means, you got any drugs? And um, <laughs> uh, that was the good and the, 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 the yin and the yang of that tragedy, but if it had to do all over again, Boy, I sure wish those bastards wouldn't have joined that, wouldn't have hopped on that plane. And